This is the solution to written homework 8. Okay, so multiply this out. All right. Uh, this will be distributing. <coughs> so I'll, I'll distribute this to both of these. So this would be 6y multiplied by 6y squared plus 5y minus 1 and then minus 5 multiplied by 6y squared plus 5y minus 1 so now I'm going to multiply that in so that is to say that now I'm going to perform this distribution. So this 6y goes in and is distributed. And this 5 is going to go in and be distributed. And notably, you need to be very careful about remembering that that is a subtraction. <coughs> Okay, so 6y times 6y squared, that would be 36y cubed. And then 6y times 5y, that's plus 30y squared. And then 6y times uh, negative 1, that's minus 6y. Now minus... I'll leave that minus there and just distribute the 5 in. So that'd be 30y squared. So 5 times that. Now 5 times 5y is plus 25y. And then minus 5. So now I'm, go now I'm going to deal with the negative. So this would be 36y cubed plus 30y squared minus 6y. So now minus 30y squared minus 25y minus negative 5, so plus 5. <coughs> So carrying this out, 36y cubed, by, by carry out I mean I'm collecting, so it's the 36y cubed, now for the squares we have 30y squared and then minus 30y squared, so there's no y squareds, uh, minus 6y minus 25y, so that's minus 31y. So we've dealt with the y to 3, we've dealt with the y to 2, there were there were none. We dealt with the y to 1, and so there's only constants now, plus 5. So that's the answer to part A. So for part B, for part B, the formula is the main idea is that we're trying to find a region that looks like this shaded like so so the area will be the area of the whole rectangle and then minus the area of that triangle so that's the area we're looking for it will be the difference of those two areas Okay. So the area of the rectangle, uh, base times height. So 8x plus 1 uh, times 10x plus 7, plus 7 minus. 
So the area of a right tr of any triangle is uh, base times height and then over two. So that'd be half two x plus six and then times x plus two. So this is the rectangle minus the area of the rectangle minus the area of the triangle. So now all that's left is to multiply and collect. Okay. So foiling this first one, so I'll write this in big parentheses. So 8x times 10x, that's 80x squared. O and I in foil, that would be 56 x plus 10x, so that would be plus 66x. Uh, that's O and I together, and then the L term is 7, so plus 7. Minus. Uh, I'll distribute the half in <coughs> and get x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2. Okay, so that'll be, I can drop the square parentheses now, and that'll be 80 x squared plus 66 x plus 7 and then minus, I'll parenthesize this, minus x squared and then the O and the I term, that would be 2x plus 3x is 5x and then the L term is 6. Okay, I'll distribute that subtraction now. 80x squared plus 66x plus 7 minus x squared minus 5x minus 6. Collecting like terms now, that'd be 79x squared, 66x's minus 5x's is 61x's, and then 7 minus 6 is 1. And that's the answer.